Welcome to tonight's homework help for Wednesday night, September 5th, 2012. Um, we're here doing adding with integers with number lines. Uh, find the sum. Use the number line for each problem. Sum is what we get when we add numbers together, like this negative 4 plus negative 3. We need to use the number line for each problem. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom problem down here. Maybe it's the hardest. So let's try that one out and get you guys started. So um, as you can see, we have a negative 2 here plus a negative 4. So I'm going to start with the first number. So the first number starts right here. Okay. So I'm going to draw a dot there. And then I'm adding a negative 4. So negative 4 is going to go in the left direction. So I'm going to count four spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, and end up at negative 6. So if you follow along, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's where I end up, negative 6. So the answer is negative 6. Okay, uh, moving on to the next problem, another one down here. I'll do one of these at the bottom. Um, let's do uh, a 3 plus a negative 5, this one here. And this is a vertical number line. Uh, the other, these ones were horizontal up here. So I'm going to do start with a 3 and then add a negative 5. So 3 is right here. So I'm going to put my starting point right there. Uh, and then I'm going to count negative uh, 5. So that would be 5 down. That's 1, 2, three, four, five. So I'm going to end up here at negative two. I go ahead and draw that in. One, two, three, four, five in the negative direction leaves me at negative two. So my answer is negative two. Okay. That's the front side. Let's now move on to the back side. All right. Here on the back side, we're doing books read in a week. This is a continuation of the previous, uh, uh, back side of the homework from last night's homework, Tuesday nights. Um, and here we have this graph that you should have filled out on that homework that night, but we have the graph correctly filled out here. Uh, how many books were read by David, Ellen, and Maria? Okay, so here we need to add David, the number of books David read, looks like four, the number of books uh, Ellen read, which looks like three, and the number of books that Maria read, which looks like six. So you're going to show how you add them here. Okay, uh, number two, you're going to, it says, how many more books did Rosie read than Ellen? So what we want to do here is compare how many books Rosie read to how many books Ellen read. It looks like Rosie read seven and Ellen read three. So you're going to show how you figure out the difference between the number of books they read or how many books, uh, um, how many more books Rosie read than Ellen, okay? Uh, so that should be simple enough. And then finally on number three, uh, they're asking us here, how many books in all were read by the students? So here we're going to have to count the number of books each of these students read and then add them together here and come up with your answer, which you put right there. Okay, uh, please show all of your work, uh, otherwise you will not get credit for this side. Okay, thank you and good night. Go Bears! Rawr!